Children and young people, and that network is becoming increasingly libertine. There was a national controversy over the Madonna, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera performance during the MTV Awards. But if you know anything about that network, this kind of salacious material, and uh, these girls like smooched it up, I think we'll see that in a minute, um, is fairly commonplace. I mean, the videos that they show, and they don't show that many anymore, but the ones they do show are usually uh, full of... Um, some kind of sex or uh, Everybody comes mm, all right we don't want to we'll see the uh, the offending portion later and joining us now from Los Angeles is Tom Green the host of MTV's the new Tom Green show Mr. Green has criticized some of the over-the-top material on uh, his own program as being harmful now you specifically mentioned this caught our eye that these bum fights that the are marketing on DVD which are just absolutely disgusting were they pay bums to hurt each other, and they've made millions yeah. on it. This bothered you. Why did it bother you? Yeah, well, Bill, first of all, before we jump into, you know, this debate here, um, I'd just like to say that I'm a huge fan of your show. And oh, wait, well, you're going to ruin really, your really reputation. Uh, Mr. Really Green. excited to be here. All right, yeah. but you're going to ruin your if you if you're saying that you're going to ruin your reputation. People in oh, L.A. Oh. are going to throw things at you. Come on now, be cautious. <laughs> I, wa I watch you every day, and I'm, you. I'm just I can't believe I'm here. So all right, well this we is very, uh, very cool. We can't okay, believe now, go it ahead, either. Shoot. Um, all right, now <laughs> bum fights. All right, what was your now, objection yeah, now, to that? Well, bum fights. Now, uh, just to set set the stage uh, precisely, my show, my new show, is a talk show. So uh, we had them on as a guest. Um, that's not they're not affiliated with my show and uh, they put out these DVDs where they're out on the street and they're basically uh, attacking homeless people they're encouraging homeless people to um, uh, to get in fights with one another yep. they're paying them to get in fights with one another and filming it uh, people are getting hurt and um, you know when I saw this I, I was I was uh, I guess I was angry because um, over you know, over the years on my show, we've always had a line that we've drawn with our comedy, and and I would look at I would look at something like bum fights, and in, on one hand, it kind of reminded me a little bit of some of the things that we do in the sense that it's out on the street, interacting with people with a video camera, and um, and and I just sort of saw that the distance that they've gone and taken it, and it and it made me uh, feel angry and sad. And All right, well, so you were morally were... offended by this, correct? Uh -huh. yeah. You thought it was violent. Yeah. You thought they were exploiting people who were hopeless people, and uh, you know, doing all the wrong things. Fine, and I, I'm with you. I'm right there with you. I think this is awful. Uh, and if I were a district attorney, uh, where this was going on, I'd find a way to prosecute the people who did it. But. To varying degrees, there are other things involved now. Now, let's sh show the Madonna thing. Now, here we have the, the largest MTV uh, situation uh, in the year, and you have a lot of children watching this. And, you know, that's, again, parental whatever, but the kids are watching. So they have to kiss, do a little lesbianism thing out there. Um, I don't mind. I'm an adult. I don't care. I think Madonna's a dope, and I don't know the other two. Um, to me, she can do that all day long. It doesn't it doesn't bother me. But if I have a 10-year-old girl watching this and then she turns to me and goes, oh, what's that? You know, I, I, I don't think it should be in my living room. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, so you know, and why is it there in the first place? What is the reason for that? Well, I, I don't really uh, know a lot about what went into that. I know that, you know, that's probably just pure entertainment. I don't really see any big thing to object about about that. But All right, uh, well, let's say I, you I, have a 10-year-old daughter, okay, and she's watching this mm -hmm. stuff because she'd watch MTV. You're on it. Would you want her to see kind of weird if I... Um, well, I, I think people understand that it's just a show and that it's for fun and... Um, no, I, I don't really think that there's anything wrong with that. Do you object to it? Really, that's not strong not as an adult. It's really that big. Not a deal. as an adult. I mean, I can... But the marketing yeah. is for children. See, the marketing is for children. If this is like HBO in the middle of the night, I don't care. But if yeah. I just ask you a question that you neatly dodged. If you had a ten-year-old girl and she saw that, do you think that's appropriate? I, I wouldn't use the word appropriate or inappropriate. I think it's just something that I would have to sit down with my daughter and I would talk to her about how uh, what was going on and that they were just, you know. Clearly, uh, uh, doing something to be entertaining and silly and shocking, perhaps. But uh, I think it's probably more important that parents talk to their kids. Oh, so do and, I. Uh, but I don't know why MTV continues to do this. Other, I do know why they want to make money. All right, let's get to the music industry, which I think has been very, very harmful to unsupervised children throughout the country. Now we got this guy Eminem, okay, and he's a multimillionaire now, and and he is. Uh, exploited the uh, rage of disenfranchised uh, young adults and kids uh, who 
or feel that society is bad to them. Do you see him doing anything wrong? You know, I, I mean, I, I, like I said, I watch your show all the time, Bill, and I think maybe you sort of don't fully understand rap music. And I'm not the exact, you know, hip hop authority of America. I don't know everything about rap music. I probably listen to more of it than you have. Uh, but I think that um, it's. It's uh, basically you have to look at rap music like a like a movie. Okay, this is this is a uh, Eminem as satire in his lyrics, parody in his lyrics. Uh, I mean, he's made fun of me in one of his songs, and uh, I think uh, which is you know a pretty easy target to be honest with you. But uh, you know, I don't really see that you can get any more riled up about rap music than you can about a, a movie. Uh, you know, there's people getting killed in The Godfather and in in uh, you know movies all the time. All right. So it's, it's let really me tell you why thing. you're it's wrong. Just because someone this expressing is, their freedom. Uh, you know, well, a movie is a movie. It's a one-shot deal. This is a culture that's been created by uh, the big corporations. Eminem's a well. Public. Movies are a huge part of our culture too. All right, though. but it's a yeah, one-shot. I mean, every movie is thing. a one-shot deal. All right, this isn't. This is a culture. Eminem's a puppet, and so are the gangster rappers. Here's a, here's the deal. I had two inner-city uh, grammar school teachers in here. They taught fifth grade. All right, and I said yeah. to them, um, "What influence has all of this rap, gangster rap, primarily had on your children?" And they both said to me. We now have 10-year-old boys calling 10-year-old girls bitches and hoes. Okay? Now, is, yeah, again, is this, I think well, well, Mr. Green, I think, is this the I kind that, of society think, that you want to live in? Yeah, I think that gets back to what we were talking about earlier, though, with the Madonna Britney kiss uh, situation. Is I think, you know, if you're sitting there with your, your, your kid and your kid's listening to this music and starts saying, uh, bitches and hoes. That's kind of fun to be able to say bitches and hoes on the Fox News channel. Can I, I can just say that on the Fox News you channel? You bet you can. Really? Yeah, we've already well, we said should it. Be, we should be careful. There could be kids watching. Well, listen, this is a news <laughs> program and it's in context of what's happening. Okay. Yeah. This I is understand. happening. I understand. And you have, no, you have I know. millions not, of unsupervised not. children, not not yeah, who are not seeing what who have adopted. No, no wait, 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 Mr. Green. They've adopted this lifestyle. We have adopted yeah. this lifestyle to their okay, what, detriment. Let me finish my point, though. My point is that I, I listened to a lot of rap music when I was growing up. And again, I, I didn't even think we were talking about music today on the show. But that's fine. I thought we were going to talk well, about. You work comedy. for MTV. But, uh, but yeah, no, that's fine. I'm happy to talk about it. Um, I mean, I grew up listening to rap music, and I, I don't. Say maybe and I, I assume you had good. I, I assume speech. you had good parents. Did you? Yeah, no, I think I did. Yeah, okay, I think I did. I but think there are millions who focus. don't, and they're the ones that are suffering yeah. and getting hurt by this. Why can't you guys understand that? Well, again, I'm not. I'm not a rapper, you know. So yeah, uh, but you defend it, uh, and I, I've heard you defend yeah. it. I do defend it though, because I think that it, I think you're misunderstanding part of it. Uh, a, a culture that is. Uh, you know, predominantly listened to by young people, and and you're not re really able to do the math and and see that the same thing happens in movies and and things that, right. that older people listen to. So, Mr. Green, we appreciate you coming on, and, and I'm really glad you watched the factor. Spread the word out. Yeah, there. no, I want. Can you come on my show, Bill? I want you to come on my show. We'll try to work it out. Thank you very much, Mr. Mid Green. Mid midnight on MTVs. Come on. All right, directly It'll ahead. Be fun. The AAA Auto Club in a brawl. In a brawl with two Florida towns over speeding tickets. Right back with it.